what is up you guys we are back with another video and today we got a recipe for breakfast pizza i had a craving for some schoolhouse style breakfast pizza if you're interested in seeing how i got these results stick around <laughs> All right, so we are going to jump right in with what you are going to need to make our pizza. Pretty simple. We have some mozzarella shredded, um, cut from the block, low moisture, some just regular Pillsbury pizza crust. Um, I was going to make a crust, but, you know, this works. Um, any type of country style gravy mix that you can find. And then some type of breakfast sausage or sausage. So we're going to start with cooking our sausage. I got Jimmy Dean just regular pork sausage. You can get whatever you want. You can do turkey. I wanted the turkey crumbles, but couldn't find them. So, um, so we are cooking our sausage down. I went ahead and just made the entire pack for this. Um, but like I was saying earlier, I wanted to use just the Jimmy Dean turkey style crumbles, but I couldn't find them. So we're making do what we got. So we're just browning the sausage at this point. So this is about the halfway mark. Um, there's still bits of pink in it. You can't really tell from the video, but it was still not fully cooked. So here we are just about done with it, letting it brown up a bit. I like my sausage to be well, well done, a little crispy, honestly. Uh, so cooking it down just a little bit more. And at this point, our sausage is done. And we're going to set that aside for our topping or to top our pizza. So now we got our pan with all these great bits of sausage and sausage like grease in it. And that's what we're going to use to ultimately like mix in our gravy mix. So instructions here for the gravy, we're going to follow the instructions exactly how they say. So next we're going to go ahead and just start adding in our water to the to the pan with the kind of sausage bits and, and uh, grease in it to make our gravy. So we're going to add one and a half cup of water. So here I'm just adding the water to the pan. Pan is hot, so of course it's going to sizzle up a bit. Um, but... Ultimately, we are going to work on bringing that to a boil. And here I am adding the other half a cup of water. And like I said, we're just going to let this boil for a little bit. So while we're allowing this to boil, we're going to go ahead and just move over to preparing our pizza crust. And like I said earlier, this is just a regular Pillsbury pizza crust. We're going to follow the instructions when it comes on how to make this crust. Uh, so, yeah. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm preheating the oven as the instructions say to do. So this is just me setting my oven to 400 degrees while I go ahead and get this on ready to go. So I know I have a nonstick pan in the video, but I wanted to add some type of spray. I didn't have any, so I'm going to use Kerrygold. So there's my pan kind of greased down for that. So our oven is pretty much ready to go. This is me putting the dough in the oven. I went ahead, unrolled it and um, about to drop it, but I went ahead, unrolled it and just pu punctured it with a fork just to help it with, with rising and such. So, um, and this is me setting a timer for about eight minutes. I believe it said just to kind of get the dough well done to where you don't have to worry about it not being cooked all the way through or having like soggy bits. So this allows you to just kind of cook the toppings. At this point, our water is boiling. So we're going to move on to making the gravy. So in a clean bowl, I am going to add a half cup of water. Um, and then ultimately we're just going to mix that half cup of water. That's me trying to focus, but we're going to mix that half cup of water with the gravy and nothing fancy, just using a fork to mix that on up and you're just going to mix it. And what I've learned while doing this is your gravy in this piece of things will not entirely be uh, mixed thoroughly so it'll still have like flour bits in it but you just need to go ahead and add it to the pan like i've done here so you're gonna mix it keep moving it because that thing will clump up on you really fast um and this will be your end result thick consistency like gravy um and of course it'll have like bits and chunks in it um because we have bits of sausage in the pan from earlier 
So now we're moving on to pretty much just putting the gravy on like we would do marinara for pizza. We're putting their base down for the pizza. So after you've covered it with a nice even layer of gravy, put as much as you'd like. I went ahead and just put enough to cover it. Didn't want to do too, too much with it. But after you've done that, you want to go ahead and put some cheese down. I put a nice even layer of cheese, not too much because I'm going to add a little bit later. Um, and now we're going to add our sausage. Now this is a half pound of sausage. We're not going to use all of it. I, as you can see, just use enough to put on it as like, you know, a generous like amount of toppings, but not overwhelming. And then added just a little bit more cheese. And like I said, this was a full pound of sausage. So I have more than half of the pack left here. Um, so I'll more than likely just use this for another recipe or for something else later. So I went ahead and popped this in the oven. And honestly, because we baked the crust beforehand, you just bake it to really your like when it comes to doneness I wanted mine a little bit browner so I baked this for about 15 10 to 15 minutes and these were my results doesn't this look great and honestly it was really really good I will definitely be making this recipe again if you've tried something like this or enjoyed the video definitely leave me down a comment below and that's it you guys until the next video